Joining me now, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton, delegate representing Washington, D.C. Congresswoman, you actually introduced Eric Holder at his confirmation hearing. He, of course, uh, served in Washington, D.C., was a Washington, D.C. resident. You vouched for him uh, from day one, and, and your reaction to his tenure ending today against the backdrop of what's happening just 40 miles north of where we're sitting. Well, first, I feel fully vindicated because of his entire record. I think that uh, with these police matters, he has set Loretta, Loretta Lynch, who just got confirmed, up in just the right way. Uh, Loretta Lynch, uh, like Eric Holder, was a U.S. attorney, and she developed a relationship with police that gives her a lot of credibility to take these police matters and reconcile communities with their police. I've written the, the Justice Department because the president had a task force on 21st century policing to say, hey, look, don't let that lie on the shelf. Take that, give it to local communities because that's where police are, and they will form their own task forces at the local level. You, you should have police, community, and elected officials at the local level. I think. You are likely to see her take that kind of approach or something typical or, or something like it uh, rather than going down to various communities. Well, what's, what's clear to me, and I'm curious to hear you feel the same way, is that this is not going away. Uh, oh, it's getting worse. It's coming. It, <laughs> it, it is, yes. And well, I mean, we, are, we just saw reports as it was going to air that uh, an email had gone out to the Baltimore Police Department telling officers to bring their riot gear for the weekend. There's a possibility of, uh, of, of other folks being brought in, state uh, folks being brought in this weekend, the funerals on Monday. I mean, this is not going away. We're living in an era in which uh, the combination of both video... Um, increased awareness about this and the fact that America just has a, a very different situation than any other comparable country uh, in terms of the amount of people that die at the hands of police. There's a complicated reason for that. What role do you want to see the Attorney General play in that debate? I think it is time for an Attorney General to get cities, counties, and their police and their public officials together. And isn't it interesting that she says this summer uh, she is going to, in fact, uh, visit with communities to, to, to try to reconcile communities with their police. Did you, did you interpret that report about morale, police morale, as an, as an implicit rebuke of the tone that Eric Holder has taken, that perhaps he's taken too harsh a tone against law enforcement, she feels the need to, to course correct? It has nothing to do with him. It has to do with morale all over the country. I mean, if you are a cop, and <laughs> you can't look at television uh, in, in an evening without seeing your fellow police, you know, under siege. So I, I don't think it, uh, he, yes, he went around, but that was mostly after Ferguson. This other stuff really has to do with what's happening at the local level and the fact that it keeps coming up. And Chris, I think the reason that we know about it is these things weren't covered as much as they're covered now. Now when press see that, and it's often a black man is shot, they run to the scene. And we know about what's been happening all along, what has been happening, frankly, for centuries. Well, and... and, and one of the other things that's been brought into relief by this, particularly as we look to, to Baltimore, uh, where there might be pro more protests this weekend, is in Ferguson there was a lot of uh, focus on the racial makeup of the city council, the mayor of the power structure. You know, Baltimore obviously is a city with an African-American mayor, African-American police chief, and we're seeing uh, what looks like some, some pretty, at least at first glance, pretty bad police behavior. Terrible. Baltimore's horrible. Uh, to be sure, she, she, she's dealing with what had been horrible. Mayor Rawlings Blake. The, the mayor yeah. had, had had been horrible for now decades, but it does show you how legitimate the, an issue this is with African Americans. They don't care who's in charge. Who's in charge so is corrected. Yeah. And she's getting the same kinds of she demonstrations is. that everybody else got. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton, thank you for being here. Good, it's good to be in your city. My pleasure. Welcome to D.C. All right.